Welcome to my studio here at Manhattan Beach Toyota. I'm Brad Jacobson. I am not a tech guy. I am not a spec guy. I am a photographer and a videographer. So what I want to do is I want to give you the view, a tour of each vehicle from an average person's point of view. And I want to start off with one of my very favorites, the Toyota 4Runner. This thing is unbelievable. This is the 2020 limited nightshade edition. So this is one of the higher end levels. And this one is the four wheel drive version of it. So first off, uh, I picked the black on black. It's my favorite color combination. And I'm gonna start off with that color combination. It's all black, blacked out, murdered, whatever you wanna call it. It's got obviously the midnight black paint. It's got the tinted out black windows. It's got the black wheels. It's got the black labeling, which is really neat too. Uh, the black side mirrors. These things are really cool. These are the bigger tires. So the limited comes with a 20 inch alloy wheels. Um, along the front here, they've added this almost like a smokish gold color to the uh, to that front with the fog lights. These really neat headlights. If you get a good look at them there, I like the way they wrap around. They even bulk out a little bit, which at first you would think, yeah, I don't know about that but it actually looks really kind of cool. I'm gonna walk you around the top. They also have the matching roof racks, which really seems to be pretty cool. I'm gonna give you a little look at it up there with the sunroof. Um, so that's, those are features that come in the limited, especially in the nightshade. All the different levels of the 4Runner won't come with everything you see on this one. The SR5 has a little bit less stuff, so obviously price according is how they're featured whether it's the SR5, the 4Runner uh, TRD, there's a bunch of different levels to this. There's even like an SR5 Premium. And I'll be doing separate ones on each one of those too, but I really wanted to start off with this one because this one really caught my eye. This is the back end. First off, I noticed just looking at this thing, I remember, I don't know much about these. I haven't really gone throughout these new cars. Um, I like the tow hitch, comes automatically with it set, set into here. And beneath the tow hitch is the spare. And we have the rear uh, backup sensors here. It was beep, 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 beep. <laughs> You're getting super close to something. Um, you can also lock and unlock the whole vehicle from this back. So if you were to throw groceries back there, you can just hit that button if your keys, like in this case, are in my pocket. If your keys are in your pocket, you can lock it from the back. I like that this is plastic so that when you're pulling things in and out, you don't scrape the paint and this thing ends up getting just all worn out. It looks like it's just screwed in too. So you can easily take this piece out and then come back and get a new one if, it, if you really wear it down. But it is a 4Runner. I mean, come on, have fun with this thing. Get it dirty. Get it get it scratched. Now, this one already has the all-weather floor liners. Um, I like these. I have these in my car. It is an added cost to the vehicle. So I have them in my car because I shoot a lot at the beach. We live here close to the beach, and I always get sand and stuff in there. I can just pull them out, shake them off, rinse them down, throw them back in. It's also got a little power input here. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. That is uh, like a normal plug outlet. That's pretty cool. And then you have the other one, which if you were uh, you know, using a plug-in lamp or something like that, fold seats as you, uh, ugh, sorry. <laughs> I'm also not a great public speaker. The uh, back seats can fold down, giving you as much room as you want for the back. If you wanted to drop that down, throw in some surfboards, throw in a bunch of gear, throw in some, some stuff for uh, home improvements. Once again, the black leathering looks super good. I like that. And now I'm going to give you a tour of the interior. All right, so let's jump on in. And one of the first things you might notice is that obviously the sunroof, if we look up, um, these seats are super comfortable. I like the leather. Give you a little look at the uh, dashboard as that thing lights in. Kind of a cool display. Obviously gas and mileage and how far you have to go until you're on empty. Um, here is our this is a bigger display this year. This is one of the things I like that Toyota did. Menu display, so you've got destinations, which would be like your, your navigation and where you're gonna go. Um, audio, if you're gonna listen to the radio, AM, FM, XM satellite, Bluetooth. The Bluetooth could actually um, put it right to your phone, so you just pop in. And you can also add Apple CarPlay to these. So I have the Apple CarPlay in mine. Um, really like that pulls up uh, any of my music apps that I have on my phone. So as we go further through here, this is the map, just your general navigation, your seek button, track button, phone button. If we were connected, we obviously would have to connect our, our device. We're not gonna do that right now. And then any apps that you have added into here, this is Intune App Suite. It's not set up yet on this particular moment, on this particular car. 
because it's new and no one's bought it yet. Down here we have our, our normal controls for the air conditioning speeds, um, it's dual climate control. Down here uh, we have our different cooling and heating for the seats. The knobs up here, um, these are just for your dual climate. So if the passenger wants to have air conditioning on, you want to have the heater on, you can do that as well. Four wheel drive, two wheel drive, all your different, it's just a simple switch turn. For those who are, are a little bit older in age like myself, we used to have to get out and switch to hubs. Remember that? And you had to switch it down here and get out of the car. So you can do it off in the car now. Um, here's for the rear window. If I want to drop the rear window, you have park, reverse, neutral, drive, and then your sport modes. I like ease of use. And as a Toyota user myself, um, I know I like these panels. I like to have the ability to answer the phone or to turn the volume up or um, different modes if you wanna go from AM to FM, etc. These devices here will change. If you look up in here, it's gonna change all your panel displays. So if you wanna see um, your miles per hour, etc., reset buttons, mute buttons. Um, and then this is for, like I was telling you, has your parking sensors, forward and back parking sensors. Okay, so on this side over here, we have our, winch our rear windshield wipers. Well, these are for your power packages over here for towing, etc. Over here, uh, we have controls for the sunroof and the moonroof. We obviously have airbags all throughout this thing. Once again, I'm not a spec guy, but I know there's a ton of them. <laughs> Along the door here, you have seat memories. So if you and your wife both share this car, then seat, you, know, you can go seat one for the main driver, seat two for driver, obviously your wife or whoever it is. And then this is how you would actually go in and set it. Has that, that black interior along with the leather trim doors. I like that. Door trim is basic, uh, lock, unlock, open and close these windows. But I'm gonna give you a little bit of a view of the back seat here. Um, hop in, I'm obviously not a big guy. I'm probably, uh, let's say 5'9", 5'10", um, about 175 pounds. And this is your back seat. So you can sit up, it has different levels. Sit back. And then we really sit back and you really just kick it around. It's kind of relaxing. If you're going for a long trip, <laughs> you just back here. Ah. This midsection here folds down with some cup holders. I always like cup holders. You never know, we got a bottle of water or something like that. You don't want it to spill all over these leather seats. Down here in the back, some different hookups. So if people need to go USB, you can go USB right here in the back. This is it. This is your 2020 Toyota 4Runner Limited Nightshade Edition. Midnight Black, blacked out, murdered with sunroof, everything you want. I love this model. If you're gonna come down here and check it out, tell them that uh, you saw the video and I'm gonna come out, tell them to come out. I wanna come out and meet you. I wanna say hi um, and you know, Maybe we'll, we'll even be able to get you something while you're here. Something cool. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I appreciate you watching. Uh, please leave some comments below. If you have any other questions about the 4Runner, tech questions, spec questions. And what I'll do is I'll ask the guys over there at uh, Manhattan Beach Toyota, hey, what's the an answer for this? And I'll have it answered in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, Manhattan Beach Toyota, for more videos just like this one. That way you'll be able to see the difference between not only the 4Runners, but the RAV4s, all the SUVs, the trucks, and the cars. Hey, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it.